guys, Mark aka the Nerdy Punk back with you again today for a new video. Um, tonight I just want to do something pretty quick. I just got a package from Shout Factory, um, more specifically the Scream Factory division of Shout Factory, which is like their horror line. Uh, they put out horror Blu-rays um, and DVDs that are sometimes a little bit more under the radar. It's more of like an indie uh, studio that's putting out movies. And I ordered a few things. Now there's going to be two videos because one I picked up the newest release. And so I'm going to do that in its own separate video because I have a feeling you guys are going to want to see it. So real quick we're going to get through the other two movies or uh, Blu-rays actually that I picked up. So uh, first up here we have Slumber Party Massacre. So I have not seen this. Uh, this looks like a cheesy 80s slasher film. Uh, I'm pretty excited to check this one out. Let's see if I can get this open. I don't know if I have anything that I can open it with around here. Yeah, we'll see what we can do. So yeah, if you've uh, seen any of these movies, go ahead and leave me your thoughts on them in the comment section below. Um, also leave me your thoughts on Screen Factory. Do you like your, their releases? Do you not like their releases? Um, the one thing is I wish they were a little bit less expensive. This is my second order from Screen Factory. and um, this, this order I got three titles. Now you see one of them is kind of a bigger title, but uh, three titles and I spent a hundred bucks. So it's kind of expensive. Yeah, this Blu-ray alone was about 20 bucks. So yeah, there's the disc there. And then Scream Factory always has reversible artwork. So yeah, there's their reversible artwork on the inside. For again, Slumber Party Massacre. So I'm kind of excited to check that one out. I uh, haven't seen it. And then the other one that I picked up here is the Wreck Collection. Now, Wreck, if you're not familiar with, is a Spanish language uh, found footage horror movie. Um, and then it spawned three sequels. So there's Wreck, Wreck 2, Wreck 3, uh, Genesis, and then Wreck 4, Apocalypse. And um, from what I've heard, most of these movies are actually pretty good. Um, I, the Screen Factory put out a box set, and this is actually the thing that I wanted to buy the most. This is the reason why I placed the order. So yeah, Quadrilogy of Terror. In 2007, two, two talented Spanish filmmakers created a terrifying film that went on to spawn three sequels. Uh, an American remake and its sequel. So, I have seen the American remake of this, which I actually have over here. Give me a second. This is the American remake, Quarantine. So I bought this on Blu-ray a while ago. And I uh, watched this, and I really enjoyed this film. This is the American remake of Wreck. The original Wreck has Jennifer Carpenter in it, who is fucking gorgeous. Um, and a really, really good film. And from what I hear, that's pretty much a shot-for-shot -shot remake of a Wreck. But I think they changed the ending. So I'm kind of interested to see Wreck, and then see the rest of these films. So let's open this bad boy up. So yeah, leave me your thoughts on the Wreck uh, series. Um, and with Quarantine, now... Uh, like I said, I saw Quarantine first, so I don't know if that's going to change my impression of Wreck, but um, usually the originals are better than the remakes. It's not always the case, but... Pretty much a good rule. Now this is a really thick box set, like really sturdy, so I really like it. So all of the films also have their individual Blu-ray cases. Yeah, really thick, sturdy box set. So really good there. So there's the first one. It says Experience Fear. It's the back. The disc art, and then there's art in the back of the case there. 
So not reversible artwork, but some artwork in the back. So that's what it looks like with the disc removed. All right, Rec 2, Fear Reversed. So apparently there's a sequel to Quarantine, which I have not seen. So, yeah, I have no idea what happens in Rec 2. So there's the disc art, art in the back. <clears throat> Rec 3, Genesis. Finally, Rec 4 Apocalypse. Yeah, this was released, this last one was released in 2014, so fairly recent. The disc art, inside art. Alrighty. Put this back in the box set here. Definitely a well-crafted box set. Um, Scream Factory usually does a pretty good job with all their box sets. So, um, go ahead and leave me your thoughts on these movies. Uh, what you think about them, leave me your thoughts on Scream Factory. And stay tuned for the next Scream Factory unboxing.